What is up my big dicked viewers and today I'm going to show you guys a Glacier guide. Um, it's basically going to be a welfare guide for people who have like about 5 mil. And yeah, you don't really need that much money. So yeah, let's get started. Basically, what you're going to need is, um, you're going to need a uh, Grafalic poncho, uh, at least Grafalic armor, Grafalic leggings, Grafalic visor, straight jamming cape, uh, Mystic Lava Staff, uh, Barrow's Gloves, and uh, Ring of Wealth. That's for the gear, and for your inventory, you should take at least a prayer flask, a restore flask, so you can uh, summon another ice titan and some overloads. You do not need overloads, you can just bring magic potions, and also you can bring, uh, also don't forget to bring blood runes. Uh, so you can uh, use, um, what is the spell? Uh, blood fire blitz. Um, if you don't know already, uh, due to the EOC, basically everything, like Jax is forcing us to use, like, like monstrous weaknesses because it makes them go by way faster like if you're doing a task and you use its weakness you can do that task way faster so yeah basically uh this is the inventory setup you should take some sharks just in case and uh yeah i'm gonna show you how to get there so basically you want to start in edgeville i'm here at the edgeville bridge next to the granny change shortcut and you're gonna run south and it, you should have done at least fairy tale part two and if you've done part three you can use it without ha holding the staff and you're gonna teleport and then you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna use the code DKQ. It's right here. You can just since I've already been there, I can just click on it. But it's the code DKQ, and then we're gonna teleport to this location. And um, yeah, now that we're here, we're going to uh, just you. It doesn't matter where you kill them, but uh, I I prefer I like to kill them over here because um, basically once they summon their minions, once if you don't know anything about Glacers. Once they're at half health, they summon three minions, and um, I will show you in what order to kill them. And once it's at half health, you can basically use this spot right here um, to safe spot the Glacier while you kill the minions. So basically, you're gonna want to pot up. You know, you don't need to. You can soul split and then turn on torment, and then uh, yeah, just go from there. Don't forget to auto cast your um, Bloodfire Blitz. And you don't have to use Blood Fire Blitz, you can use um, Blood Fire Barrage. And yeah, be careful for the range attacks. Um, the, he shoots, uh, the Glacier shoot this range attack that you saw a few seconds ago that I just got hit by. That um, I'll show you the next time it comes up. But it shoots a range attack um, that pretty much hits really hard. And I've, I've been hit like 3,000 by it. I do not know the max, but it hits really hard. And okay, he summoned his minions. We're going to run around and safe spot them. Don't forget, you need to attack the Enduring Glacite, because um, if you don't, then he's just going to stick with this little, you know, I don't know what that is, his Glacier mom or something. And then you're going to first kill the Enduring one. You might want to pray melee. And uh, yeah, don't forget that the you're going to want to kill the Enduring one, then the Sapping, and then the Unstable. Also, as a side note, remember that like the last minion that you kill is the one that the Glacier takes like the glacier becomes that minion the unstable minion has this bar under it that like as soon as that bar is filled all the way to the top it explodes and it does 90% of its own health and it does 33% of your health if you're near it so yeah basically you're gonna want to kill the enduring the glacite and it, it becomes stronger the closer you are to the glacier and um, secondly you want to kill the sapping glacite because that one is a uh, sapping glacite um, it saps your prayer. It, I believe it saps 5% of your prayer every time that it hits you. So you're going to want to kill it really fast. As fast as you can. Also, be careful for the unstable Glacite. Because it can do a lot of damage, actually. You can do 33% of your damage. And then after you kill that last minion, you're going to want to kill the Glacier. As you can see, the Glacier has the bar under it. Because it's gonna, it has that ex little exploding thing, and that means that it took, all, it took the, I guess you can say the last minion's form, sort of in a sense. But basically, yeah, you just gotta kill it. It's not very hard. See that attack right there? It hits really, really hard, and you gotta be careful for that. So yeah. Um, also, the, if you kill the unstable one last, this the Glacier, um it heals when that bar is not under it it like begins to heal and it gets really annoying it could be it can take a really long time to kill one it just depends and just be sure to be moving around constantly so that you can just kill it and uh yeah so i will speed this up until i get this killed Um, okay.
okay, now you can see I got the kill. And uh, you can turn off your prayer if you need to. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you kill blade sources. It's not that hard. You just need to know where to lure them. I suggest the, um, the eastern spot over here near this rock. I will show you on the map where it's at. Uh, while I wait for this map to load. And oh, I did not know that. Okay, you cannot see where it is at on the map. But just remember, it is this spot right here on the map. It Here is the, the fairy ring. And here is the spot. It is not very hard at all. You guys, anybody can do it, basically. Not anybody, but you know what I mean. You just need a decent magic level and uh, some decent magic gear, and that's it. It's not that hard. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye.